Kader Richardson 20 or KR20 measures reliability for a test with binary variables. Example, correct or incorrect responses. Kader Richardson 20 or KR20 has a formula K over K minus 1 multiplied by the quantity 1 minus the summation of P times Q divided by sigma squared where K is the total number of items in an examination, P is the proportion of students who answered the item correctly, Q is the proportion of students who answered the item incorrectly, and sigma squared is the variance of scores of individuals who took the exam. If KR20 is greater than or equal to 0 0.5, then the examination is good or acceptable. On the other hand, if it is less than 0 0.5, the examination is questionable. Let's have an example. Suppose we have a 10-item examination piloted to 10 students or 10 respondents, and these are the scores obtained by the respondents. So for us to calculate the KR20, we have to get first the score or the total score of the respondents so given by summation, so we have the following scores. And then, we have to note the P, the Q, the PQ, and then the sum of PQ, the variance, and the K, and the KR20. Given the formula of Cotter Richardson, which is K, over k minus 1 times the quantity 1 minus summation of pq over the variance. Let's calculate p. So p is the proportion of students who answer the item correctly. Just get the sum divided by the number of students who took the examination, which is 10. And this is the proportion of the, the respondents or students who answered the item correctly. And to get the proportion of students or respondents who answered the item incorrectly, just subtract P from 1. And then these are the proportions of students who answered the item incorrectly. And then to multiply them, just multiply P and Q. And these are now the products. Then let's get the sum of P and Q. That is 1.04. To get the variance of the score, so variance of scores of individuals who took the exam, just use equals var.s. And then highlight the individual scores. And this is now the variance of the scores of the respondents or students. K is the total number of items and as we can see, we have 10 items in our examination. So this is 10. Then let's apply the formula. That's K which is 10 divided by K plus 1, K minus 1 multiply by 1 minus summation of PQ divided by the variance. And we have now the KR20. 0 0.68. And 0 0.68 is greater than 0 0.5, meaning to say these 10 items in the examination are reliable. Hence, our examination is reliable. In the event that after getting the Coder Richardson 20 value and found out that KR20 is not reliable, the researcher's task is to review again the instrument or the questionnaire or the examination and check 
uh, the individual items and make some revisions now let's have a review so once again given this 10 item examination piloted to 10 respondents to get the Cutter Richardson to determine the reliability of the instrument first we have to get the sum or the total score of each student or respondent we have to check the proportion of students who answered the item correctly for each item divided by the total number of students who took the examination do the drag and drop then let's get the proportion of students who answered the item incorrectly by subtracting p from 1 and then multiply the results p multiplied by q or q multiplied by p and get the sum and to get the variance of the scores of students just get or just use var.s and highlight these individual scores and k based on the kr20 formula is the total number of items here we have 10 and we can apply now the formula so we have k divided by k minus 1 multiply by 1 minus the summation of pq divided by the variance and here we have 0 0.68 value of our kr20 which is considered acceptable or reliable so this is acceptable because this is greater than 0 0.5 threshold value now it's your turn calculate the kr20 value of this 10 item examination piloted to 15 respondents 